Everyone back! Everybody move! 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 That was the scene just moments after a car crashed into the gates outside the British Prime Minister's residence today. A suspect is in custody. The incident set off a rapid security response, but authorities now say counterterrorism officers are not part of the investigation. The CBC's Abby Kudasin reports. I'm just a few meters away from a 10 a Downing Street, and it was just behind me that police cars had basically blocked off the road. As you can see, traffic is now flowing freely as all road restrictions have been lifted. But London police say that it was around 4.20 p.m. local time when a silver Kia approached 10 a Downing Street. It got past the initial barrier but was stopped at the main gate. So there were reports of a collision there, of course, always tourists milling about so some people saying that witnesses were screaming as the car was approached of course there's always a heavy police presence there as well we do understand that a male suspect has been arrested on charges of a suspicion of criminal damage and dangerous driving police have now collected some items from the vehicle and placed them into evidence bags we understand that they also search for possible explosives as well and we understand at the time of the incident that Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, who lives and works at 10 Downing, was actually on the premises, but that he was taken away at some point. We don't know where he was taken to, and he's no longer there. Staff at 10 Downing at the time were also asked to remain on the premises and not leave. So there was a lockdown of some kind. Police not yet sure about whether it was a deliberate act or whether it was an accident. Abby Koldas in CBC News, London.